before I let you go, we're going to be speaking to Dublin City Council later. But what's your message to them in terms of planning for crowds, outdoor crowds gathering over the coming weekends, particularly Bank Holiday weekend? Um, for, well, for a start, more bins. Um, spent uh, a bit of time uh, on Sunday around um, around Herbert Park and around uh, around um, the Donnybrook area, and there were more bins, but they need more too. Um, would definitely like to see um, more provision of um, public facilities or public loos. Having said that, though, we think we may be able to get around that in, in one way by allowing, uh, you know, for example, pubs, restaurants, shops to allow people to use mm. um, their loos. Might you, know. you open up actually the outdoor dining and drinking this weekend? We don't wait till Monday or Tuesday. Do it on Friday, and at least you know people might be sitting down and use the toilets. Well. You know the decision is Monday, and that's that's what's going to happen, um, and that's that's the cabinet decision on that. And you know we did toy toy with that possibility, but we're not going to change it now. Uh, it does appear that the weather is not going to be so nice this weekend. Unfortunately, that's probably a good thing in terms of people congregating outside. But you know I would say this though. Um, you know I didn't like to see the scenes that we saw uh, in South William Street the other day, or some of the problems that they've seen in Cork or places like Portobello Plaza. Um, but we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that we are actually encouraging people yeah. um, to be outdoors. Outdoors is much safer than indoors. Um, and not all those people have south-facing back gardens. No, that's true. And like, the and and I, don't, I don't have a back garden, so <laughs> I, I can tell you all about it. Our front garden, I live in an apartment, so the Phoenix Park is my, my garden, you know, uh, and I'd be there nearly every day. Um, and, you know, certainly what I saw around town yesterday, you know, around Power around Park, around Donnybrook, around a lot of town, um, you know, was people gathering in the outdoors responsibly, um, you know, sitting in relatively small groups. So, you know, it's important. I think there's, there's risk always when a video goes up on Twitter of a certain number of people misbehaving in a certain number of places. Um, there can be a bit of an overreaction to it. The vast majority of people, I think, 90% of people, 90% of the time, uh, are following the guidelines. They're meeting up in back gardens in groups of no more than three households, and if they are meeting uh, in parks, they're keeping the numbers pretty small.